zap, zap, zap. Oh, hey, students. I didn't see you there. You guys caught me playing some Valorant. It really is my favorite game. My favorite character in the game is Neon. With the tip of her fingers, she can just zap away all her enemies. She really is a human battery. But what's a battery? What is a battery? Take a moment to pause this video and reflect about everything you know about batteries. Brainstorm some ideas, and once you've done that, make a concept map. For those of you that have never made a concept map before, made one right before this video. My concept map is about apples. In the center, I wrote the word apples, and branching off of that, I have a bunch of ideas that are related to apples. So for example, apples, they are fruit, and fruit make plants, and plants will eventually become seeds again. So please make a concept map. Just make sure your concept map is about batteries and not apples. All right, I'll give you a moment to do that. All right, done. What is a battery? When I say the word battery, I'm gonna assume most of you guys picture something that looks a lot like this, a double A battery. But what if I told you that not all batteries look like this? What if I told you that this is a battery, or that even this is a battery? What exactly is a battery? Well, as it turns out, a battery is any device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. In the case of our AA battery, it converts chemicals inside the battery into electric energy. All batteries have a cathode and an anode, the cathode in the AA battery is the part with the bump. When you connect a battery into a circuit, it pushes electrons out from the anode all the way to the cathode. In this sense, a battery is actually a lot like, the, like a pump for a tire for your bike. With the pump, you are pushing air out of the pump and into the tires. So batteries are actually a lot like pumps. To show you how simple and easy your batteries are to make, we're going to make one together. And before doing any experiment, make sure you know what CAT equipment you need. Typically, that's going to be something like goggles and a lab coat, but because we're going to be working with household items, we're not going to need any of these. To make a battery, you're going to need a couple things. One, you are going to need a piece of aluminum, aluminum foil. Two, you are going to need a copper penny. And lastly, you're gonna need a little bit of tissue that's been dampened with some vinegar. Now to actually make the battery, you just really wanna sandwich the tissue between the copper and the tin foil. And there you go, you have successfully made a battery. That was easy. It really is easy, guys, to make a battery. Now to show that this battery actually works, I am going to use it to power this speaker right here and make some noise. However, this battery is actually very weak and won't be able to power this. So instead, I've actually made eight more batteries and taped them up together. I'm going to place this battery on top of these other batteries and use it to power the speaker. I'm also going to move the camera significantly closer. And I'm also going to put a cup on top of the speaker. By doing this, I amplify and direct the sound towards the camera. So let's do it. I have the cup, I have the speaker, putting it right on top. And let's aim it right at the camera. And let's see if we can hear anything. You guys hear that? Well, let's move the camera back. I hope you guys learned something interesting about batteries today and go around your house and see what batteries you can find. For me, there's batteries in my car starter, in my remote control for my TV, and even in my computer. So go around and look for some batteries. I hope you guys learned something interesting and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below or you can ask them tomorrow in class. Now if you excuse me, I have some more Valorant to play. I'll see you guys tomorrow.